we have covered considerable distance in this course and there is lot more to go just try to recall how many times have you heard the word decentralization many times right from decentralized databases to decentralized networks and now decentralized applications we will now cover what is known as decentralized applications or dapps in short a decentralized applications are digital applications or code that exists and run on a blockchain or peer to peer network of computers instead of a single computer these applications are also not controlled by a single authority a standard web application such as banking application e retail cap sharing or facebook runs on a computer system which is owned and operated by an organization that gives the organization complete authority over the app and its workings there may be multiple users on one side but the back end is controlled by a single organization dapps on the other hand can run on a p2p or a blockchain network for example bittorrent chor and popcorn time are applications that run on computers that are part of a p2p network multiple participants are consuming content or seeding content or simultaneously performing both functions on these applications decentralized applications are a piece of software that communicates with the blockchain which manages the state of all network actors the interface of the decentralized applications does not look any different than any website or mobile app today if someone would have asked me about the possible architecture of a dapp and how they work i would have pictured this to imagine what we call decentralized applications today take any existing centralized web resource like whatsapp or facebook as an example and imagine that instead of a password protected centralized account you have your crypto identity bound to the web or mobile resource that's what wallet software provides you the private key from this identity is stored on your local device and never goes online making no one able to control this identity but you with this identity you can perform different actions in both centralized and decentralized networks using the website as an access point or as a graphical user interface the whole point of this crypto identity is that your actions are cryptographically secured and no one is able to change what have you signed nor your signatures today the computational and storage capabilities of fault tolerant decentralized networks like ethereum bitcoin eos or tron are limited if they were scalable we could use decentralized networks to store the whole decentralized application including its graphical user interface data and business logic in this case we would call these applications truly decentralized or distributed however because those networks are not scalable today we combine different approaches to achieve the maximum decentralization level for our applications the traditional backend as we know it isn't going anywhere for instance we use backend to host front end for a decentralized application we also use backend for integrations with any other existing technologies and services real world class applications cannot live in an isolated environment we use backend to store and process anything big enough for a decentralized network and blockchain in particular practically the whole application and its business logic are stored somewhere in the world excluding the blockchain part not to mention ipfs and similar decentralized storage layers cannot guarantee the accessibility of files hence we cannot rely on them without hosting the files ourselves either in other words there is always a need for a dedicated running server there is no way of building a secure and partially decentralized application without using a solid backend as of today and the whole point of this article is to explain how to do this right